4 May 1970. It's a day George Burke will never forget. And found me on fire rolling on the ground. The lone survivor of a 13-man military plane crash in Northern California, the retired U.S. Air Force captain's life would change forever that fateful day. I was burned severely, 65% total body surface burn, 50% was third degree. But thankfully for Captain Burke, he had a doctor who would not give up. He never let me quit. Uh, he worked on me hour, many, many, many hours. According to the Wounded Warrior Project, 5 to 20 percent of wartime deaths are caused by burns. He was in an Now a unique space. program is molding more of these resilient docs to hopefully cut down on this number. At the Scottsdale Healthcare Military Training Center, military doctors and nurses from all across the country work in this simulated one-of-a-kind forward operating base and put their hands on human mannequins under real-world frontline conditions. Give that in the first eight hours. I teach them, you know, how to assess you from head to toe, what things to look for. Assessments that Air Force Captain Weston Wynn can give in battle when he heads back overseas. We're able to get uh, further hands-on and experience and learn what to do as far as from a primary survey, secondary survey, how to take care of these patients. We'll probably have you come back. From mannequins in Scottsdale, these military doctors transition to the Arizona Burn Center, where they get hands-on training treating real burn patients from the best in their field. What is it allowing us to do is to make sure we're bringing home our brothers, our sister in arms, you know, from overseas. Each day as Captain Burke does the chores around the house, he thinks back to his doctors and can only be thankful that someone had the proper skills. When I see them, when I meet them, and when we leave, I shake their hand, I give them a hug, I tell them I love them. Confident that this new breed of doctor will have even more success saving soldiers like him. In Scottsdale, I'm Shane Dwyer, Cronkite News.